Hello there. What's up everybody and welcome back to the Cool Figures channel and welcome to another Star Wars week here on the Cool Figures channel. I know, I know guys, I promised you a Power Rangers week this week, but I was not expecting to find these new Clone Wars figures so quickly and so easily. So, today I have for you guys the brand new Star Wars Black Series Target exclusive Clone Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi. But first, if you're new, then welcome. This channel is all about cool action figures, analyzing them, hunting them, taking pics of them, and of course, playing with them. I upload new content every single day of the week, guys, so make sure you hit that bell icon so you stay notified when I do upload new content. And if you guys do enjoy this video or any of my other ones, please remember to give them a thumbs up. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, guys. It is absolutely free to you, and in return, you guys are going to get a bunch of great content. So in my book, that is a win-win. But anyways, guys, before we get into it, as always, the information on this channel is intended for adult collectors and not children. I am your host, Jesse the Bat Magic Girl, aka the Buff Collector. And once again, guys, I have for you the Star Wars Black Series Target exclusive Clone Wars Obi Wan Kenobi, guys. And to say that this figure has been highly anticipated would be an understatement. The, these four figures, when they were announced, broke the toy community. Um, you know, people were going crazy, losing their mind. Um, and then, of course, Hasbro had to make it worse by not giving us any information on, on these guys. Like, they had a whole May the 4th celebration thing. They did a whole live stream, and they didn't say a single thing about these figures. And um, next thing you know, it, uh, you know, a few days pass, and yakface.com told us all that. He got word that Target wasn't going to do pre-orders, despite Canada... Um, UK and I want to say Australia doing pre-orders and whatnot. Um, I even did a pre-order on Zabby.com which is a UK site because I wasn't sure what the deal was going to be with getting these figures in the US and surprisingly these have been uh, really easy to get um, you know obviously you know depending on your target and whatnot um, because I did check earlier in the week and I could not find anything um, so I just happened to see a lot of people on Friday, seeing them in stores on, on Friday at, at a Target and I was like, you know what, I have a feeling. And so I hit up my local Target and they're like, we don't have it in stock, but this place has it, this place has it, and this place has it. So I jumped in my car and went to the next Target that, that was closest. He was like, yeah, I got Hawk, uh, Obi-Wan and Anakin, but no Echo and it's one per customer. And I was like, all right which I liked, but at the same time, this is the one time I actually wanted a double of a figure. I wanted a double of Kenobi, because I wanted to do a custom, which I will actually show you guys later on in this review, so stay tuned for that. Um, especially if you're a Clone Wars fan, you are gonna love this custom, um, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Uh, but anyways, so, I was able to get those three and then thankfully I went to one more target they didn't have it but I went to one other one and there he was sitting on the shelf so not every target was limiting them not every target had them behind the counter still um, unfortunately but thankfully the, the fourth target that I went to that had Echo and one more Kenobi had them on the shelf like nobody took them to scalp thankfully so I was super happy about that um, but Anyways guys, like I said, these figures definitely broke the internet and the toy community when they were announced and especially this Kenobi because look at that face sculpt. This has to be the best Ian McGregor face sculpt we have ever gotten for any action figure. Um, and like I said, that's why I wanted him for custom as well um, because I needed that head sculpt. But uh, he is just immaculate. It It is Ian McGregor basically as Kenobi on your shelf now. So that is the coolest thing. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories that he comes with. As always, he is a Black Series figure, so he doesn't come with much, but he does, of course, come with his lightsaber. I really wish, I mean, uh, it would have been better if the General Kenobi from the original release from the 
2002-2003 Clone Wars series came with a clone helmet. I was going to say this guy should have, but he never wore a clone helmet in the animated The Clone Wars series. But in the, in the original one, he did. So, I don't know. I'm just ranting on about something that should have happened, but never happened. But getting into the accessories, guys. Here's his lightsaber. It's his typical lightsaber, but it's nicely done, nicely detailed, nicely painted. I really like the way they painted it. Um, there's no bleed over on, on anything, so it looks really nicely done. Uh, especially for the price. These ones, these figures were $24.99 a piece, guys. $24.99. 99 a piece Begun the Hasbro price hikes have guys. I'm, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but it has begun and um, You know like I said to quote Yoda they have begun So you do get the ability to take the blade out which is nice And of course once you have the blade out you can go ahead and plug it in to his lightsaber holder that's what I like about these new Black Series figures. They are the lightsaber holders that, or clip, belt clip, um, that, you know, the hole is on. It actually does uh, look like it. Like if you go to Star Wars Land, Galaxy's Edge, you can find those. Um, but anyways, guys, so that is all he comes with in terms of accessories. So let's go ahead and pull this beautiful figure forward so we can take a closer look at that head sculpt. I mean, just look at that, guys. It is Ian McGregor just right there. Um, the paint applications is just perfect on this guy. And like I said, for the price point, it better be because, I mean, QC issues at this point, um, you know, it's kind of bad, especially on Hasbro's part because they're such a big company. Uh, but thankfully, all the ones that I got had no QC QC issues. Um, so yeah, guys, looking at his tunic, he does have, you know, what he wears in the Clone Wars. So he has the clone armor on the bottom with his Jedi gown and robes on top. Uh, very nicely done. It is a soft plastic, not a fabric material. Uh, the Anakin does come with a little bit of uh, soft goods in between the tunic. Uh, but Obi-Wan is all solid, uh, soft plastic. So, and I really like this emblem crest right here on his shoulder, which he has in the show. Um, I just honestly really love this figure, and I'm sure everybody else does too, uh, because it is just the perfect representation of Ian McGregor. Uh, so going ahead and taking a look at the articulation now, he can look all the way to the right, all the way to the left. He does get really good head tilt because now they're using those, uh, you know, uh, dumbbell style neck joints where it, it connects up here and down here. So you do get really good head uh, down and up as well. His arms do go all the way up, but it does bunch up a bit, so you might have to fight it or mess with it. You do get 360 rotation of his arms right there. Uh, you do get single hinge elbow joints, but he is utilizing that new clone trooper armor style. So you want to make sure this uh, elbow strap is all the way up so you don't pinch it in the joints or else you're going to start getting marks and once you get those marks they're just going to get deeper and deeper and next thing you know it's going to pop off uh, so you don't want that uh, you do get rotation at the wrist as well as in and out hinging right there i do wish that hasbro would just give them lightsaber hands instead of trigger finger hands uh you know since they are jedi and they're not going to be holding trigger fingers or guns but uh you know it is what it is uh, so looking at his articulation at the waist, he does get rotation right there. Not too much ab crunch or back. Uh, his legs are hindered by the tunic, so he does, only kicks out that far. He kicks out that far. You do get thigh swivel rotation at the knee. Single hinge knee right there. And then looking at his ankle articulation, goes down that far goes up that far and you do get a ball rocker joint right there so all in all just a magnificent action figure and like i said so much so that i needed a second one for a custom now if you are a clone wars fan which i hope you are if you're watching this unless you're just a kenobi fan or a, you know just a star wars fan in general and this is just a really good head sculpt and you want this figure um but one of my favorite arcs is when Kenobi goes to Mandalore to try and save his love interests 
um, and he goes undercover as one of Maul's super commando Mandalorians. And that was always such a cool scene to me. So when this guy was announced, I had this idea. Since I'm not a big customizer, I can't do a bunch of fancy stuff, but I can do a head swap. Oops, do a head swap. Look at that, guys. Doesn't that look amazing? Uh, for those of you that don't know the storyline, Obi-Wan had his own Padme, uh, and she was the ruler of Mandalore. And I love that arc because it really shows that Obi-Wan wasn't this perfect Jedi that he was made to be seen as, you know? He had his faults, he had his weaknesses. Like I said, he had his Padme. He even admits to her that had she asked him to, he would have left the Jedi Order for her. So that was just such a big, heavy revelation in the Star Wars universe. That whole, you know, Obi-Wan and Anakin are, are basically the same, but obviously both choose radically different paths. You know, Obi-Wan chooses to stay faithful to the Jedi, whereas Anakin chooses Padme and, uh, you know, eventually goes over to the dark side. Spoiler alert if you didn't know that. Um, but anyways, guys, like I said, I had to get a second one for this custom specifically. But that did leave me with a, uh, you know, extra... Whoops, I am just knocking figures over. It did leave me with an extra Kenobi body, uh, which I am just basically uh, putting the extra Anakin head that I got from Anakin Archive series on. This has a placeholder so it's not an empty body and I can, you know, display the head. And there he goes. So, oops, it's not a cool figures video if I don't knock the camera at least once. So, uh, I did want to mention that the head isn't snapped on. It doesn't snap in because the hole and the, the peg don't match up. But it stays on firm enough that you can turn it upside down and shake them and it won't fall off. You can turn the head and, you know, get some good articulation out of it. Can, basically, if you want to make them look down, you just have to move the pin first and then make them look up. So you do get really good articulation with it despite it not snapping in. And it does look really natural on the neck. It looks it fits in perfectly or somewhat perfectly enough that, you know, as long as you don't look too hard on it, uh, it won't look, you know, too bad. And honestly, with everything that's going on with it, I don't think anybody will, anybody will look too hard at the neckline. Uh, yeah, so with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at some cool picks that I took. Uh, not of this guy, but of this guy, and we'll be right back. Alright guys, thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. If you enjoyed those picks, you can find the full images over on Instagram at Cool Figures. And I actually started a separate Instagram called Epic Shots by Cool Figures for more of my uh, setup and you know planned shots that take a little more time and also aren't part of my reviews or series that I do for YouTube. Uh, you know, that way they don't get lost in all that stuff. So if you want, go ahead and check out either Cool Figures for my review picks, which I will be posting on daily, and as well as Epic Shots by Cool Figures. But either way, thank you so much for seeing to the end of this video. If you did enjoy it, please remember to give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, guys. But whether or not you're a subscriber, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to listen to me talk about toys. I really do appreciate it. And come back tomorrow, guys, for day two of Star Wars Week here on the Cool Fears channel. I'll talk to you guys in the next video.